What's happening, folks? Welcome back to Celtic Fans TV. It's time for player ratings after Celtic 4, Voss County now here at Celtic Park. Today we'll start in goals, as ever, with Joe Hart. It needs to be another 6 for Joe Hart because, again, today he had little to no saves to make. Um, I think Voss County maybe had one shot the full game. Um, so other than that, it's just really passes out for the back and, and goal kicks. Um, his distribution was OK today, but but nothing spectacular. Um so on the basis that he done very little again, I have to go six. Left back Greg Taylor, we'll say solid seven. Um, didn't do much wrong today, Greg Taylor. Um, good performance all round. The centre halves again, Starfelt. Um, eight, we'll go eight for Starfelt. Eight for Carter Vickers as well, I suppose. Um, we weren't tested too much. Maybe it's are generous for them, but um, I'll say they deserve them on the basis of their performances over the season. So eights for the two of them. And eight for uh, Juranovic at right back. He put in a great cross for the second goal uh, for Jacques Marcus. Um, again, just a really strong performance from him. He came off and Valson came on in the second half, but um, he just cruised it again, Juranovic today. And midfield, um, Callum McGregor. We'll go eight for him. Uh, I should have given him an eight on, on Monday at Tannadice, to be fair. So we'll go eight today. Again, just another good performance from him. Um, breaking up play really, really well. Um, getting on the ball in that deep position and, and starting attacks for us. Um, so composed on the ball, he was excellent. In front of him, Hatate, um, a solid seven for him today. I thought he was he was much better. Um, a good all round performance and good to see him uh, play. I think he got ninety minutes today, Hatate, if I remember correctly. Uh, so good for him to get that that time game time under his belt. And I thought it was a good performance from him. Um, a few lovely passes, um, bringing up the pitch, uh, really, really helped his, his energy in midfield today as well. So he was excellent. Uh, Vogic alongside him had to come off after that tackle. Um, hopefully the injury isn't too bad. We'll go six for Vogic. Um, I think maybe six is harsh, but to be honest, I, I can't remember. Um, I'm doing too much in that early period of the game. O'Reilly came on, uh, strong showing for him. Uh, played the majority of the game, obviously. Due to Rogic's injury, and I thought he was really good again. Um, we'll go seven, solid seven for O'Reilly. On the right hand side, it was Jota um, who started there. He chopped and changed a lot with Maeda today, um, but I've got to go nine for Jota. I thought he was absolutely superb. Um, Ross County couldn't live with him, and he started the game um, really, really strongly, and that was key for us to get an early goal. Um, these these home games can be really stuffy. Um, we've seen that recently. And Jota was just brilliant in that early period of the game and he, he took the game away for Ross County. That cross for the first goal was excellent. Um, the set-piece delivery again today was really, really good. Um, Maeda's goals from a corner as well and I think it might have been him that swung it in. Just excellent all day. Um, Maeda on the left got his goal, um, covered more ground than you could ever imagine a football player covering in 90 minutes. I don't know how he does it. Um, I heard Dan's talking last week about his his ability to maintain sprints, um, absolutely incredible. And you see that again today, 80 minutes, 85 minutes, charging down the goalkeeper, absolutely incredible. Um, we'll go nine for Maeda as well. And up front, um, the big man, Jackie Marcus, it's got to be a 10 in it. Um, if he scored a hat-trick, it's a 10. You can't have a better performance than that. He deserved his man of the match. He doesn't need many chances. He doesn't need many touches. He's a goal scorer. Um, we know that he's he's been really really good in terms of his numbers. Um, that's back to back hat tricks at Celtic Park. I couldn't tell you off the top of my head the last player to do that. It's a great accolade for him. Um, that's him into double figures for the season as well. Um, he stood in really well. Well, in this period where Kyogo's been out, um, a lot of different players have chipped in with goals, but none more so than him. So he gets a ten today. Um, that is it for player ratings like this video. Comment your own thoughts below. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you for watching. Cheers.